Hello again, welcome to Nitro Talk. This here is a OS 12TZ that we're going to be taking a look at and discussing in a future episode. Today though, we're going to have a look at this OSRG engine. Uh, RG is a 21 engine that came, uh, this is a bump start version, it also came in pull start. Um, it was typically a buggy engine, although these were put in monster trucks. Uh, you saw a lot of these in like uh, Kyosho Mad Forces, stuff like that. Um, it has a six button head. Uh, there, there's a lot uh, on this engine. You can kind of tell it, it's, it's an older engine. This is, I would say, mid 90s. Um, maybe even early 90s but you can kind of see the evolution getting into better uh, stuff uh, the sleeve for example looks pretty modern uh, you got some nice flow there you know no fangs but you know good cuts um, good work obviously it's an OS but then you go to look at something like the crank and that is just a chunk a block uh, there are no no fangs no cuts nothing just a big chunk you can also see that that kind of that might even I don't believe that's a 12 millimeter uh, crank it could be a 13 I'm not sure um, it just looks really small to me looking at it, the diameter of the crank, uh, the, usually 13 or 14. Um, it's certainly at least a 13, maybe even a 12. I should probably check that. Uh, but anyways, um, these didn't have, uh, these old OS engines had a paper gasket that they use uh, no rubber o-rings and uh, the paper gaskets are available they're not cheap uh, what I usually do when you know I take one of these old engines apart and the paper gasket is destroyed I just clean it off real good and make my own gasket with some RTV when I put it together very sparingly of course you don't want any don't get any inside the engine uh, obviously um, the head on this it's a one-piece head uh, no um, separate head button uh, and it's odd in that it sits on top uh, rather than most engines the the head button or cooling head whether it be one piece or two piece goes down inside the sleeve this just sits right on top. No, no, no part of the button or head goes down into the sleeve. It just sits right on top of it. So that's, you have that odd looking large flat area where half of it is part of the combustion chamber, the, the inner half, and the outside half sits on top of the sleeve. It's a six button head, as you can see. Um, again, no uh, knife edge conrod there. Nice, thick. A uh, thing about these uh, RGs, number one, they're super plentiful. They made a ton of these. And like I said, they uh, sold a lot of them for everything anyone could put a big block in back then, they put these in. So there's a ton of them around. I think I have four or five of them. Um, what I like with these, I back in the days when I experimented with engine porting and stuff, these are great for experimenting. You can do a lot of work on that crank. Um, if you're a beginner, uh, working with your Dremel, doing some engine porting, and don't forget to wear your uh, mask. You don't want to breathe in any of those particles. 
Um, you can do a lot with this engine. You can, you know, there's some nice fangs there on your boost ports. Uh, th these are fun to experiment with. If you have one that's got a little life left, they, they, they don't sell for a whole lot of money. Like I said, they're, they're plentiful. Um, they do have a bolt-on exhaust adapter, so every now and then you'll come across one that doesn't have an exhaust adapter. It's just got, you know, the hole there. Um, these exhaust adapters aren't super hard to find, um, but a lot of this older stuff nowadays, um, you have to go on eBay, and, and all this nitro stuff is going up. Um, anyways... Uh, what else to say about the RG OS carburetor? Uh, this is one of the the first. Uh, the OS always made great carburetors, but this 20E is one of their first legendary, rock solid, hold to tune all day. Uh, just a great all around carb. Very well made. Uh, silicone boot on it very uh, early silicone boot uh, most were rubber back in those days and even you know beyond that um, did I put that on there I might have put that on there I don't know I've had this I've had this thing years um, there I like this it's like a golden almost depending on how you look at it the color almost it gets kind of greenish yellowy um, but I like this head it also came with a black head um, and was there another head uh, there, there's two different see how this one's really open there's another one for the same RG that uh, is a little more closed in uh, whereas it's a little more open area uh, so, yeah, there are some variations on this engine. They made it for a few years. Um, place for a clip on the, for a clutch. Good for a slider clutch. It has, has a spot right there for the clip. Um, see you next time.